Hello and welcome. We are playing Sakura Sakubis 9. The time continues to pass as it always does. I'm Lynx and I'm gonna be the narrator and I'm gonna be giving voices to all the characters in case you don't know. Which might sound weird, but whatever. <laughs> and one day becomes two, which becomes three. We are skipping days again. Again, the events from that one day could have been packed into like three days. And and soon, in no time at all, the day of Ayo's concert is finally upon us. Let's go. Ayo has been uncharacteristically nervous in the lead up to her concert, for I can easily understand why. This is a big opportunity. Not only will this concert be kicking off a tour across Europe, but she'll be performing alongside a former superstar like Mihama Shizuru. I might think rather highly of herself and her whole capabilities, but not even she is immune from anxiety. I know she's been anticipating this concert for quite some time, but I'm sure she'd be alright. <clears throat> That's what Cosmos tells her, at least on the morning of her concert, as I will peeks disinterestedly at her breakfast. <laughs> she's in the cheerleading outfit. I'm sure you'll be great out there, Ayu. You can do it. I'll be cheering you on. And look! Cosmos gestured herself, glancing a full cheerleader regalia. <clears throat> I'm even dressed for the occasion. <clears throat> yeah, I know! You've been wearing that silly thing around the palace a lot these last few days. Isn't it cold? A little, maybe. But that's alright. I have the power of love on my side. And that's enough to warm me up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, really? I was coughs. I was the word the power of all was so... of love, so was so potent. Well, of course, it keeps... it is... it keeps the whole world turning. Alphys, what? That was because of the sun's gravitational pull. But I agree. The power of love is very important, too. I know about you, Ayo, but whenever I feel uncertain, I always think of Hiroki, and that stands to cheer me up again. Ke -ke -ke. <sighs> Thanks, but I didn't ask. I'm not looking for a pep talk here. And whoever said I was uncertain anyway? You didn't say it, but you didn't have to. I can see it on your face. You look rather anxious, you poor thing. And you barely touched any of your food. I'm just not hungry. Since I'm an idol, I have to watch my wave. I wouldn't want to end up like her. Like who? I should a pointed glare at Alice. What are you talking about? Alice looks great. Who is busy demolishing her breakfast with Neria carrying the world for once. Let's go, girl. Is Alice actually a gluten? I've never seen her smile so much as she does when food is involved. You're running this into this too much. I'm fine. Ah, well, you say that, but you're shaking. That's nothing. It's not pre-concert nets or anything. It's just cold in here, yeah. Is it? Elizabeth frowns. The heating is on, however. I always ensure that the palace is warm and toasty. I mean, maybe that's not a good idea if it's toasty. During the cold, especially during the colder months, because my lady is rather sensitive. It could not do for her to catch a cold. Oh, Lizzie, you're so thoughtful, Kiki. I'm very bit as thoughtful as you deserve, my lady. As your humble maid. It is my duty to care for you. Nothing in the world makes me happier. Yeah, 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 I've heard it before. Same. Gee. I was close, slightly now in her chair as she does. Get a personality of your own, why don't ya? It's impressive seeing you phone over Savania so much. She's an adult and she can look after herself. <sighs> yeah. If there is one thing that's bad about Elizabeth is how she's into Stefania. Who is 
like again last place when it comes to all the girls in the game you're supposed to be an adult too miss ikue yet you do not act like it and what's that supposed to mean you know full well what i mean when you're anxious as you are now you tend to take it down on the others you lash out and then you make everybody else unhappy you're doing it now because you are incapable of admitting that you are worried about this concert why you cannot be honest and spare everybody the trouble I mean, in the first place, we shouldn't touch the subject because she just doesn't want to talk about it. That's all. Whatever. I'm sure to make you rather more personable. Personable? If only you drop the icy veneer. Personable. Oh, you really want to talk about me being icy? Your expression hardly ever changes except when you're talking to the princess. Nah, actually, Pinity is number one priority. Oof. So I save my energy for speaking to her. There is nobody more deserving of my smiles than she is. Oof. Whatever. You're just as bad as my fans. They're pretty insane simps too. Yeah. Simps? Oh, oh, let me explain. I have experience with simps, Nyehe. Simps are people who will tip you hundreds of thousands of yen in super chats. Buy you items from your Amazon's wish list. And comment on every single one of your photos, saying how cute you are. Dude, sims are the worst. Like, what the hell is wrong with you people? Stop. I have quite a lot of them myself. I see. Is it true that Lizzie comments on all of the photos I upload on Rapid Pound? And she often... Sorry, it is. True. That Lizzie comments on all the photos I upload on Rapid Pound? And she often buys me gifts? But she does not pay me for that. Actually, my family pays her. The uh, details, details. I waves one hand carelessly. She's still a simp at the end of the day. She practically salivates over you. I knew there was a reason she made me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> well, don't worry, I. This might be a certified Steffi simp, but I'm a simp for you. <laughs> Cosmos. I'm gonna chief you so hard my throat will wear out and I'm not the only one. I get Steffi and Ali to dress up too, once we get to the concert and we'll all call your name. I'm sure he will join in too, isn't it right? I'm not wearing that outfit. Huh? I, of course I've got a cheered outfit of my own waiting, no 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 I don't. I won't dress up but I will be there to support you. Well my throat has been feeling kind of sore lately. <laughs> yeah. Let's go with the second option. Why would we dress up? Well, I would hope so. You are my cameraman after all. Showing up is the least you could do. Yeah. And you don't really have a choice. You're only here because your boss sent you out here. Well, yeah. But I do want to see you perform too. I've been looking forward to it. Whatever. Oh, she's blushing. I lost her eyes, but I think I can detect a hint of blush on her face. I don't need to thank you for doing the bare minimum, and I feel like you're wasting your time. I have so many fans already, I hardly need a dedicated cheerleading squad. The stadium will be so packed, I doubt they'll be able to see you. Hmm. Mm. Why do I feel like you should have not said that? Oh, I feel like that was a bad idea to say that line. Even if Stefania's connections have netted you some of the best seats in the venue. Uh, here, I oppose this. Her expression softens. Then, with something that might be smile, she says... But I guess I do appreciate the support. Just a little bit. I knew you would. You don't need to thank me for... There's no need to mention it, I know you do the same for me. I mean, we are, what are we? F what are friends for? Hmm. I wonder if she would. I will leave the palace much earlier than the rest of us to head on over to the concert venue. Naturally, she needs to be ready and waiting for the concert later this evening. Attired in her pink frills with her makeup neatly done. The concert doesn't start until 19.30, however. Evening hours make sense. After work hours make sense. That gives me an abundance of time to myself in the palace. 
time, I'm not sure what to do with. I was the one who would be performing tonight, but I can feel my own stomach knotting with anxiety. I don't know why I'm getting so worked up. I'm sure if I knew how anxious I was, she'd scoff at me, but I can't quell these feelings. They continue to harangue me all the same. Could I be worried about, about Ayu's welfare? I know there is no need for me to feel so much, and I don't think I would appreciate it if she knew what I was doing, but I can't help myself. I keep thinking back to that night a few days prior, when Ayu came to my bedroom to speak to me. She looked unsure and, and uneasy, unusually anxious. She said that she was worried about this upcoming concert. She was afraid about being upstaged by Shizuru. Will that really happen? I'm not sure, but I hope that it doesn't. I will, with every fiber of my being. But the concert will go smoothly. I think it... I think it when I take a turn through the garden, and when I watch Stefania and Hifumi play game with Karuta, and when I eat a light lunch with the two of them in the parlor. My thoughts are never far from Ayu. It's almost as if I'm hoping I can manifest her success through sheer willpower alone. I've seen Ayu upset before, when she thought I was ignoring her at their beach house, and this isn't something I'm keen to relieve. I don't want to see Ayu cry. She works so hard she deserves to have her efforts pay off. Yeah? These thoughts follow me throughout the day, until the night falls. I'm chauffeured over to the concert venue alongside my entourage. Elizabeth included, and her employee. No, her employer. Sorry, employer. As Astoria's very own princess is with us. Mm -hmm. My part is given VIP treatment. We are given the best seats in the venue, a private window box which looks out over the stage away from the masses. We are far away from the crowds, but I can still see them spread out beneath me like ants. I can still hear their excited screaming. <laughs> are they worrying about Ayu? Just like I am? It seems unlikely. I doubt they know that I has been worrying about the concert. And I doubt I would want them to know about it either. You should at least send her a text now. She's always had so much pride. Too much, maybe. She's never been very good at asking others for help. True. I just hope that won't come back to bite her. Will she be alright? I also don't like asking for help. Not at all. Usually because... Asking for help would bite me back. So I never ask for help. A stage is here. I continue to fret my eyes glued on the stage when the lights finally dim. Is the show about to start? I look at the stage curiously wondering whether the show is about to start and sure enough... Ooh, Hiroki, look, 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 look! Cosmos grasps uh, the hold of my shoulder and gives it a shake. She points towards the stage, her butterscotch eyes wind with excitement, not that she needs to bother. I advise myself, even they're not quite as white as Cosmos's, and I can see what's going on. I also appear on stage, sprouting out of the, of the ground as if by magic. Sure. There's a lot of smoke drifting about, so it's a little hard to see her. But I'd recognize that pink costume anywhere. It has to be her. Stefania, however, looks a bit more her center. She leans forwards, craning her neck, and says questioningly, Is it Ayu? I believe so. I would recognize her Charlie Shack fashion anywhere, even from afar. Oh, Lizzie, I think you're harsh on Ayu. She might be a bit grumpy, but I'm sure that's only because she was stressed. And uh, understandably so. Let's all cheer for her! You've got it! Yeah! Ayu! Go Ayu! Ayu! Oh, um, um, uh, Ayu! Ayu's self-appointed cheer squad have all begun to call for her, but it's no use. The rest of the crowd have noticed her too, and they're also cheering a loud, deafening roar which renders Stefania Cosmo and Alice's combined cries moot. It's not like I will be able to pick them out above the rest of the rumble. Ah, you! You can do it! Ah, you! You are the best! Ah, you! Ah, you! Ah, you! But Cosmos continues to chant her name regardless, smiling all the while. 
It looks like she's enjoying herself and so is Stefania. She might be a story as princess, but she's cheering just as enthusiastically. If not more so than Cosmos. I just looks a little more unsure of herself while he will be smiling bemusedly. My my, it's so loud I can hardly hear myself think. That's why I rarely go to concerts such as these. I feel I can't hope too much how energetic everybody is. Yeah, I'm similar. I... I have... I mean, I haven't really mentioned that exactly before comparison. I did mention what kind of... environment would be for me, so basically... like a jazz bar. That would be my thing. I, l I rock, like rock music and so on, but I think a concert basically not for me. I just like to sit down and listen to the music. I don't like to go crazy, like not my only that, that you know acting like that. Anywho, for oh, it is rather fun to get swept up in the heat of the moment. Hmm. <laughs> it's bad part. There is nothing fun about this. It is so crowded. I can't help but worry for me lady's safety. I fear there may be brigands looking everywhere. I need to keep an eye on her. Yeah, you do that. How very responsible you are. I'm glad you're as cautious, Lizzie, but I think you can afford to take a bit of a break. We're here to have fun after all. Can't you try and relax a bit? Unfortunately, the word is not my, in my dictionary. Not when your safety might be on the line. Oh, lazy, lazy, lazy. Stefania and Beth are having conversation while Cosmos is still cheating. I can hear them fall. Wait, what? Oh yeah, makes sense. Uh, their voices are fading away, becoming faint and indistinct. I was, I was the first person to appear on stage, but she's in the last. This isn't solely the Ikoa show, for she's the main attraction of this production. She's supposed to be performing alongside another idol. And that idol has only just appeared, emerging from a trapdoor just like Ayu. The woman is standing beside Ayu, holding microphone this microphone in one hand, is rather pretty. I can tell it from far, thanks to the screens which are projecting what's happening on stage. Her cheeks are flushed, her eyes fringed with long lashes, her lips full and pearly pink. Her hair is... Why? It's not brown, for fuck's sake, dude! <sighs> Hiroki, after you're back to Japan from Astoria, you're going to the eye doctor. Immediately. What's the name of the eye doctor in English? <laughs> I have no clue. <sighs> and it curls sweetly about her shoulders, framing her heart-shaped face. She looks yawful. If I can see faintest suggestion of light beneath her eyes. It's not probably to guess a woman's age, but if I was held at gunpoint, I'd say she's probably in her late 30s, maybe even her early 40s. It sounds like you've said those lines before. I think she has at least a decade on me in any case. Dude, you said that before. Did he still not realize? His mature look to her, but that doesn't make her any less appealing. She wears her eyes, gra uh, her ears gracefully. She's so pretty, in fact, I have to wonder whether she's a succubus. But I know that isn't the case. This woman is no succubus, damn it! She's none other than Ayu's co star, Miha Mashizuru. Huh? For she looks enough look. A lot like the woman I ran into a Rosenberg not so very long ago. Could it be? Was Chizuru really Chizuru? Their names do sound similar, I guess. Perhaps I should should have guessed, but who? How was I have to know? Chizuru or Chizuru, either who is who she is, never said anything about being a famous idol. I mean, she pointed at that in a way. But you are too stupid to connect the dots. I had no idea I'd gotten so close to somebody so important. But I don't have too much to dwell, too much time to dwell on this. <laughs> the air is beginning to hum with music. The music swells as the seconds pass, growing louder and louder until my ears hum from it. The bus is boosted so high the whole venue shakes from it. Shizuru's fingers curl about her microphone. 
She smiles, her lipstick glossy beneath her, uh, the bright stage lights. And they begin to sing. And holding one slender arm aloft, she opens her mouth to sing. She's her voice is gentle, but it's also powerful. Amplified by her microphone and by all of the speakers, I can feel her song reaching to my very soul. Does it sound a little too extreme? It might seem like something of an overstatement given this is only pop music. Yeah, pop music doesn't hit that far. But light and inoffensive for these lyrics are, she's her stage presence is something else. I can bring myself to tear my eyes away from the stage. Shizuru's voice wraps around me like a blanket, pulling me away from my petty everyday cons uh, concerns. But Shizuru isn't the only one commanding presence I can see. Ayu is standing alongside her, holding a mic of her own, and when Ayu's voice joins Shizuru's it sends shivers down my spine. I've heard Ayu sing before numerous times, but I didn't know she could sing quiet like that. Since when was Ayu so talented? I'm sure if I asked her, she'd snort arcly and say that she's always been talented, which is true. She didn't become Japan's top idol for nothing. I know she has the skills to back up her immense success, but even so, I've never seen Ayo quiet like this before. She looks positively resplendent as she sings. Her wild eyes are bright and alive, her dance movements are clear and precise as freshly cut gems. Ayu doesn't miss a single step as she turns and then spins. Her dancing is perfectly formed thing, so much so it's almost enough to make you wonder whether I even belong to the same species that she does. No, you don't. That's a f <laughs> Which of course I don't. I'm ordinary human, while Ayu is a succubus. I guess it stands to reason she'd be superior to an everyman like myself. But maybe I'm not being fair on Ayu. She wasn't born with superlative skills like this. She worked to polish them over a long period of time. I use status as a succubus might enhance her physical prowess, but I don't think she's using that as a crutch. She's really giving this performance her all. I watch her, enraptured only half paying attention to Shizuru. Shizuru is very talented in her own way, but she can't hold a candle to Ayu. Okay. In fact, her presence upon the stage only serves to call the attention just how brightly Ayu herself shines. Quite literally, she is, since, since, since she's covered in beds of sweat. Salty droplets cling to Ayu's forehead, her cheeks, her toned tummy. Here you go. It's pretty toned. This doesn't make Ayu look any less appealing, however. If anything, this serves as physical proof to just how hard she's working, and it makes me appreciate her efforts all the more. Ayu might make this look easy, but I know it isn't. Nobody works harder than her. I mean, I think like every of our Sakura's girls in her respective professions work hard. Very hard, so... Who knows, the crowd cheers in tandem with Ayu, all of them wanting her to succeed. Uh, united, we cry out, calling her name until the air rings with it. Are you? Ayu! Ayu! Ayu seems to become more energized, not less as the night wears on. You think she'd begin to flock after exerting so much energy, but her smile doesn't waver. Neither does her voice. Her steps remain neat and clean, her singing voice transcendent, almost like that of an angel's. Or that of an succubus. I've never really cared for idol music, but I was throwing so much of herself into this performance, it's hard for me not to be swept away by her. Me too. Even for I've been a manager. Ow. I've been a manager to multiple groups. Wait, or was it one group? Was it w it was one group and multiple solo idols. Yes, I've been manager to them. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Literally calling it, speaking about other games. I've not really cared for idol music. I read this. I've seen Ayu perform before, but she's come on in leaps and bounds since that first concert. Where I went to scope her out of this... Uh, oh, out for the Sakura Daily. That's our newspaper. 
I can see the trace of the Ayoshi was with the Ayoshis now. How could she have improved so much in the last year? It's possible. It seems almost improbable. No, it's possible. But it's real. I'm witnessing that. The fruits of Ayoshi's labor are on full display. And I'm so enraptured I can't help but stand there breathless. Ayo has me completely in her troll. The show eventually wins down. It comes to an end with a high energy number, the most bombastic yet. Both Ayo and Shizuru perform the fl this flawlessly, for I think Ayo's voice is a little stronger than Shizuru's. Looks like Shizuru is starting to get tired, but Ayo appears to have energy to spare. Is she running on pure adrenaline? I worry it once she steps off the stage she will crash. But it doesn't look as I watch her dance, like such a thing is possible, not right now at least. Ayo has performed too perfectly to let any mistakes slip in her routine. And indeed, her dance poses continue as always have. Smooth like silver! When the final song ends, the crowd erupts in the streets of ear splitting applause. Some people cheer for Izuru, while the others cheer for Ayu. I think I can hear more people yelling Ayu's name. They're chanting a uh, swirling din which makes my ears drop. Ayu! 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 Shizuru, you're the best, we love you! Ayu! Shizuru! Oh boy. Hopefully it will not get into the competition. Quotness me! Oi. Shizuru was panting a little after her exertions, now addresses the crowd that's thronging the stage. She smiles, her lips dapped with gloss which shines in the bright lights, and holds the microphone to her mouth. Then her expression soft, she says, Oh, this reception is truly incredible. I cannot say that I expected to be received in so rousing a manner. <laughs> I knew that I still had many fans who have been waiting patiently for my return, but not even I anticipated you'd be so enthusiastic. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Astoria might be a cold country, but your reception has warmed my heart. I'll not forget this night for years to come. Ooh. The crowd cheers in response to Shizuru's address. Some of them are screaming so loudly I'm worried they will tear their throats, while others are waving glow sticks and chanting. Shizuru, I love you! You'll always be number one in my heart! Oh, it's like you never went away! I've been waiting for this moment for so long! Shizuru! Yes, yes, I hear you. Thank you so much for your unerring support. You're the best fans I could ever hope to have. I have no idea what I've done to deserve you. I promise I won't let you down. Never gonna let you down. <laughs> I thought I was finished with the idol industry, but life works in mysterious ways. About a year prior, the Zero Perform was ignited within once more, for it had lain dormant for quite some time. And do you know what prompted that? Let me guess, it was Ayo. The members of the crowd look to one another in confusion and glance at Shizuru, all of them working as one unit. Some cry out the answers. No! What was it? Shizuru loves you! Don't ever let me in! And Shizuru smiles. Perhaps this might surprise some of you. It surprised me when it happened, but... There was one person who compelled me to step on the stage once more to perform before you all. It was not my former manager, and neither was anybody from the entertainment industry. Oh. Oh. What? I mean, but Ayu is in entertainment, uh, entertainment industry, so... It was not my friends or my family. It was instead... She... You just said it was not someone from entertainment. Shizuru looks at Ayo. She takes a step forward. Then taking Ayo's hand in her own, she says... You... Ayo... Huh? Their, th that response seems to stun Ayo just so much as it does everybody else. A collective gas goes through the stadium because Ayo takes a step back. Somewhat awkwardly, she points towards herself. Then in confused voice, she says... He? Me, me, me? Yes, that's right, you. I just so happened to be in the supermarket, buying some groceries for dinner when I heard one of your songs playing on the speakers. Huh. I'd not heard any of your music before, 
And after leaving the idol, Lil Astria stopped keeping tabs on my fellow talents and took me by surprise. It was a fairly simple pop song, really. Musically, it was not so very complex. But your vocals elevated it. You sounded so... <laughs> She's pouting. <laughs> Why is she pouting? <laughs> you sounded so happy to be singing for your fans. It reignited something within me. It made me remember why I had decided to become an idol all of those years ago. And inspired me to dip my toes back into the world of music. I knew when I heard you singing that I wanted to be like you. I wanted to recapture some of the magic of my lost Yauf. And I wanted to make other people happy. I never have released my new CD if it weren't for you. And I wouldn't be standing here right now. This joint concert happened because I requested it. I pulled a few strings behind the scenes and I cashed in on a few favors I had to make. This all possible. Perhaps this makes me sound like a devious, dev, dev, devious woman. And maybe I am. But I really did want to see you in person. Okay. Interesting. I wanted to perform with you. She's with you. I... I open my mouth then close it, seemingly stuck for words. I think I, I can even see moisture bedding on her lower lashes, but I was able to stop herself from sobbing. I... I had no idea that you thought so highly of me. All this time uh, I imagined that you were looking down on me. B -b -b because you have so much more experience than I do. Looking down on you? She's through blinks. Why would I? If anything, you are the one who ought to be looking down on me. I know that I'm past my prime as an idol. I already abandoned the stage once and soon enough I'll do it again. The world is changing and I fear I will one day be forgotten. Do you have to perform as an idol? <laughs> Can't you perform as a singer? I kinda don't get it about Japan. As far as I'm concerned at least, if someone is an idol and stops being an idol, they kinda disappear. Well, unless, obviously, I'm not really much into idol world, so... Maybe I'm mistaken about that, but... It seems that way in general. But I don't mind handling to man the mantle of Japan's top idol over towards you. In fact, it would be my honor. That is why I wanted to hold this concert so I could tell you in person that the future of the idol industry will be safe in safe hands when you're at number one. You're amazing, Ayu. So much so I couldn't help but excited while I was working with you. I know that you've been giving this concert your all. She then saw the crowd, all of them looking up at her expectantly and smiles. So I hope you will be all continue to support her. She deserves all of the love that you can give her. <laughs> the crowd bursts into raptures, applause. On the heels of Shizu's praises, all of them crying, whooping and clapping. It's hard to pick out any individual words owing to how many bodies are crammed in the stadium. I think I get the general gist. There's an awful lot of I love you being thrown around. I'm not subject to all of this affection, but even I'm finding this overwhelming. My ears are starting to ring. Ah, you! Ah, you! Ah, you! The crowd begin to call Ayu's name en masse. Some of them are jumping up and down, while others continue to wave their glow sticks. Ah, you! Ah, you! Ah, you! Everybody! Ayu stares out across the sea of faces with wide eyes, one hand clasped to her chest. I can see his face in high fidelity definition, thanks to the screens which are set up around the stage. I can see the way she shifts, can even see her throat dancing as she swallows. I can see the moisture that's being too bet upon her lower eyelashes. Is she just going to cry for real this time? I'm not sure if those are tears of gratitude, thanks to her fans, support or for relief. The crowd, meanwhile, continues to cheer, stamping their feet up and down all the while. Ah, you! Ah, you! Ah, you! The love I can feel for Ayu swells to an almost unimaginable degree. The atmosphere in the stadium is electric, so much so I can feel the fine hairs on the back of my neck standing up. 
the crowd the doors ire. Their obsession borders on the unsettling, but there is a genuine war behind their cheers. I think that they like Shizuru... Like Shizuru want the best for Ayur. Why wouldn't they? She's their idol. After all, a bright shining beacon in an otherwise drab and dull world. Ayur might be a famous idol, beloved by people across Japan. And beyond? But... maybe. But right now she looks strangely soft, almost vulnerable. When she blinks, even more tears bet upon her lower lashes. They sparkle in the bright, harsh lights on the stage like shooting stars. A couple of these tears are dislodged from their perch, where they begin to roll slowly down her cheeks like April rain. Ayu doesn't bother to swipe these tears away, however. Instead she stands tall, clasping her microphone tightly in one hand. She looks out across the sea of faces before her, unflinching. She doesn't step away from the spotlight, no matter how overwhelmed she might be. Ikue Ayu is much too strong for that. She smiles through her burgeoning tears, her face all flushed, then says, <laughs> Thank you everyone! Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart! I really wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for you! Your support means the world to me! You're the best fans that a girl like me could have! Woo! You're the beast, are you? You'll always be my number one! She's a risk rare, but you're a plenty of appeal too! You're the cutest! As cute as a button! <sighs> That's a stupid saying. No, cuter than a button! It's still a stupid saying. I know I've never seen a button that looks as good as, uh, in a short skirt as you! Oh, you! Oh, you! Oh, you! Everybody! Well, if you keep cheering for me, you're going to make me all emotional. <laughs> I always feel like you're being too nice to me. But you came all the way here, here to support me, so I'll accept all your love, every single last of it. I'll keep on smiling to the end. As your eternally radiant idol, I can do no less for you. You're all wonderful. And you, Shizuru. I turn to Shizuru has been standing silently during her little speech, a small smile on her face. You're wonderful too. I feel like I've never shown this bright before, not since meeting you. Your thinking really helped me elevate mine. I feel like I was able to put in the best concert of my whole life and it's all thanks to you. Oh my, my. That's awfully flattering. I'm glad that you think so highly of me, dear Ayu. But I believe you are the one who is being too liberal with your praises. <laughs> I don't do anything too special. All I did was enhance what was already there. You're an exceedingly talented idol in your own right. And for you might be younger than I am, I believe your skills far outstrip mine. You're already so dazzling, I can call you a rival. I would not be able to best you, but neither would I want to. I'm more than happy to watch you and to see how your career continues to unfold. As wonderful as you are now, I can tell you have wells of untapped potential which reside within you still. And I want to see you shine even more. Right! I'll uh, keep doing my best. Thank you so much. It's no problem, dear. I consider myself very fortunate to have been able to perform with you. In fact, if anybody ought to be saying thank you, it's me. You might think that this was your best concert. But it's the same for me too. I might be getting on in years, so being able to perform with a young talent such as yourself was a huge honor. Um, oh, Shizuru? Hi, you. Shizuru smiles gently, her face glowing with happiness. Oh, cute. As with a soap, Ayu dashes forwards. Not cry, you're crying, god damn it! <laughs> she drops her microphone to stage, the resultant stood echoing throughout the venue. Then she throws her arms wide and pulls Shizuru into an embrace. Oh! Shizuru blinks. For a few moments, she looks surprised by Ayu's brazenness. My, my! <laughs> but this praise soon wears off. She regains her former smile, her expression gentler than a lily. Then she crawls aside to her. 
She rests her hand upon Ayu's head, threading her fingers through Ayu's hair and softly says, Thank you, Ayu, for letting me sink alongside you. It really was my pleasure. The crowd falls quiet for a few moments as they observe this touching scene. Ayu, the younger idol who embodies a new wave music, embracing Shizuru, who was at the apex of her career more than 15 years prior. True. In a way that is actually true. It really does feel, as they embrace, that the past and the future are coming together in a brand new blend. Maybe that's why nobody speaks. It feels like something monumental is happening, something exciting. This must be how scientists feel when they watch atoms colliding, their breaths baited. I'm not sure what will happen. But there is one thing I can send for certain. I'll always be Ayu's number one fan. Even if I did get a little close with Shizuru. <laughs> I even know her on an intimate level, but I spent even more time with, uh, with Ayu. I care about her a lot and that is still isn't going to change. I watch one, I watch on one face of many the crowd staring at Ayu. The seconds trickle by. The crowd begins to stir. Then, as one, they all start cheering for Ayu, a raucous, rapturous wave of applause that goes on and on and on. Dear hums with raw energy of Ayu's accumulated fans. And as it does, I find myself smiling. I'm glad I was able to be here for Ayu during such a pivotal moment of her career. I always want to be with her. And to prove it, I raise my camera and take what might prove to be the most important photograph of my life. That of Ayu embracing Shizuru, tears in her eyes, bathed in the love of her adoring fans. Hmm. What the heck? That's it? No way that's it. Yo, we have two more achievements to get. Hello? Ha! Huh. I don't think there is any other endings for, to be quite frank with you. I don't think there is any other endings. What about gallery? Cosmos here. Two more. Huh. I wonder what I've missed. I'll need to find out. Maybe in one of the scenes, I somehow managed to... I somehow managed to avoid something, basically. And I have no idea how. I'll need to go on a research. And we will be... Maybe retur returning with another episode that way. An episode that you will be saying something like we are getting the remaining achievements. Because I don't... I mean... Okay, Cosmos cheering is later than this, so... Let me have, have a look. Uh, okay, both achievements are hidden. Group hack, nothing for introverts. Our last dance, celebrate in private. I wish it would tell me more what that means. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going on a research and we shall return with another video. So let's end it here and we'll see what exactly is hidden behind the last two achievements in the next episode. That's right, that's how it's gonna be. For now, hope you enjoyed. Hope 
hope you have a wonderful weekend as well, to be fair, given that it's Saturday right now. Yeah. Well, the second half of the weekend, I guess. <laughs> and, 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 and what else? I mean, I guess go collect some intel about the world of idols. Why not? Maybe, unlike me, you will be interested in that world in general. Me? I'm not going to go past video games and idols. That's good enough for me, to be honest. <laughs> Anywho, like the video, subscribe and so on. We'll be playing more games and, again, another episode will be trying to find out that other achievement. Hope to see you there. Have a good one. Bye-bye.